What's up, guys? Welcome back to Frugal BC. Today, we are going to talk about Algorand Governance Period 2. That's right, the rewards are coming out today as I record this video, tonight uh, at midnight or 11.59 or whatever it is. And then Period 2 is going to start soon. Uh, that'll be January through March. So we're going to talk about that all in today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you guys are had a great Christmas and you're looking forward to having a great New Year's. I'm here to talk to kind of a time sensitive inf info today. I'm here to talk about the end of governance period one and the start of Algorand governance period two. Before we do that, I'd love you if you hit that like button and uh, if you want to hit the subscribe button too, you can see all our crypto experiments. We explain some of these uh, smaller experiments. We do them. Uh, ourselves, I, well, I do it myself. <laughs> Not like I got a team behind me or something. I do them, and then uh, I show them, I show you the results, and I'm honest about them. That's uh, someone asked me like why they thought the channel was growing like it did, and I said well, I think I think it's because I do the ex these experiments and I don't cover over anything. Like if it's if it works really well, I tell you. If there's things that go wrong, I tell you that too. If something frustrates me, I let you know. That's what that's what you're here for. So. And that's uh, that's that's my goal. My goal is just to give you my impressions of the project and honest impressions, what I think, what I like, what I dislike. Usually it's somewhere in between. Uh, but I've been pretty happy on a lot of the experiments. You can see my video before that I just did on the topic projects that I did this year that I liked a lot. So uh, be sure to check that one out. But enough about that. Let's get right into Algorand Governance Period 2. Okay, so a lot of you, as a lot of you know, we, we are just getting toward the end of period one. It actually ends at midnight, 11.59.59 on the 31st. It's right here. Here's the end of the period. So you guys, you guys, if you, if you held out this long, you know, don't do something silly and start moving around some algo. Just keep it where it is. Now, me personally, I'm, well, let's, we'll get into that. I, I, let's not jump ahead. Um, so then the new one starts January 1st, and it'll go from, excuse me, that's the distribution. The, the distribution will be from January 1st to the 5th, as you can see that down here. Now, you might be wondering, because the commitment period is from December 25th to the January 7th, and as I understand it, you can, you can commit more, you can take into account what you expect to get from governance before you commit. Uh, before you commit to the new one. Now, it's all the all the all the distributions are going to be wrapped up by January fifth, so that gives you a couple of days before the end of the commitment period. Now, I personally, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I want to see exactly how much I get. I don't want to try to do the math and maybe screw something up. I just want to wait till January or, or whenever it comes, sometime between the first and the fifth. I want to make sure I know what I'm going to get before I commit. Now. I want to talk a little bit about strategies because some people have said that they recommend you make a second wallet for governance. I don't think that's necessary, um, but you, you can decide what you want to do. If you want to do that, if you feel safe, safer that way, uh, I might I, it might be worthwhile because a lot of people got bumped out of governance. Now, to stay eligible for governance, you had to vote, and there's going to be another vote next period. So they, they haven't said what it is, or at least that's the last I heard. And you have to vote, and then you have to keep your committed a number of algo. Now they automatically build in a buffer. I think you can actually override it, but don't override it. Just keep the buffer. Now, I, I kept them so of one algo, so they'll keep a buffer of one algo. Now me, I keep a much bigger buffer because I'm always doing these experiments. So I want I want Algorand to play with. Um, I set mine at 600, and then I had a bunch more beyond that, and that was all stuff that I could do these little experiments. So that I could do them for the channel. So I could have easily put it in a different wallet. I just don't want to mess around with multiple wallets. I already have too many wallets. I really just, I kind of, part of me just wishes there was one wallet for all the things. But the only one I know of that's close to that is MetaMask. And I just, something about that just scrambles my brain. I just don't like MetaMask. I know a lot of people use it. I know it's kind of the most common one, but it just, I don't know. There's something I don't like about it. It just never seems to work right. 
uh, if by contrast, my, the my algo wallet actually seems to work really well. I, I'm a big fan of that wallet. And uh, I think I'm going to do a how to use the my algo wallet video coming up or how to set it up because I don't know, I get that question every once in a while about setting it up. And I don't think it's super complicated, but if you've never seen this stuff before, if you've never done the other ones like MetaMask and some of the other ones, then this might seem complicated. I think compared to the other ones, it's actually quite easy. But so, uh, so lock those dates in. Uh, you have till the 7th of January to commit. And that's, you know, 1159.59 uh, standard GT. What is that GT? I don't even know. Just do it before then. <laughs> do it early. Do it on January. Just think January seventh at noon. That's your that's your deadline. So you make sure you get it. If you miss it by an hour, you're still probably okay. Uh, just make an earlier deadline for yourself. So you make sure you get it. But remember, January seventh. That's the day. So don't 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 miss that if you want to get the rewards. Let's dig into some of the stats. So uh, let's start with governance period one. And this is, this is Algorand stats. This is a great, I love this website. I haven't shared anything from here in a while, but uh, I've always been pretty happy with it. So obviously it's ended, you can't get in anymore. And we're in the cool down phase. And uh, the governance APR is currently at 14.05. Period percentage reward is 3.51%. Now, as you remember, that was a lot, that was like 3.2, but people kept dropping out. And so uh, there's 1.7 million algos remain committed. I think that was over two before. And then the governors, there was 50. And I remember there was like 70 some thousand when we started. So it, it cut down quite a bit, which is pretty amazing. As you recall, there was a vote um, and a lot of people voted, uh, 51,703 voted one topic as they, as they mentioned. And that was in uh, that was in late October to early no or mid November thereabouts. So, but anyway, that's governance period one. How about we look at number two? So as you can see, so far there's only 470 million algo, and that sounds like a lot. But remember, there was quite a bit less before. So that's a uh, that's that's interesting in my opinion. And uh, the current APR of the period reward is 15% right now, which is, as you can, as you know, is a lot higher than the last one, just because there's so few committed so far. I expect this to change. There's only 32,000 governors. It's pretty early. You got till the seventh to, so I think we're going to see this number go up. It goes up quite a bit every day. So, you know, don't, uh, don't be thinking that this is going to be the final number. Although I wonder, I'm kind of surprised it's as low as it is. I think that's interesting. So we'll see, but remember uh, the seventh, you have till the seventh and that goes the, the period, the next period will go through March 31st. All right, I'm gonna stop my share. Here we go, we're back. All right, so I just wanted to give that little breakdown of Algorand governance. Remember you just go to Algorand, uh, Algorand Foundation, just Google it, it'll take you right there. And it, the commitment process is pretty easy. So I think once I get my rewards, I will do another video where I show you how to do it. You can look at my previous one too. It's, the process should be the same. I can't imagine anything will change, but if you want to wait, if you feel more comfortable doing that, uh, go ahead and wait till I make that video where I do my new commitment. Like I said, I'm just going to wait till I get my, my governance rewards before I actually commit any new algo to the program. And uh, I think it's going to be I should be getting around 20 some algo, something like that, but we'll see when it comes through. I might be, I might have my math off. Um, that's it for today. I hope that helps understand like some of the key dates for governance period two, what you got to do, um, maybe some of the strategies and whatnot. Again, I'm Frugal BC. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you in the future. By the way, Stay safe out there tonight if you're watching this today. Uh, have a happy happy New Year's Eve and a safe one, and have a good uh, have a good New Year's Day, and hope, hopefully you have a nice holiday weekend to enjoy. And uh, we will see you in the future.